Right, welcome to my uh, let's play. Um, this is my second attempt at my at my first attempt to uh, actually record this due to uh, my tractor choice being so noisy uh, and you just couldn't hear what I was saying. So please, uh, I've altered my uh, volume. Uh, first of all, I want to go to the controls so you guys can see the uh, what defines the game, what settings I've picked, because I think this is an important aspect of any Let's Play. Um, if I was on the right page, of course, that always helps. Um, right, normal economic difficulty, dirt on slow, automatic engine start off, fuel usage I have set on low, and periodic ploughing is uh, off, because it's still, if I was doing crops, it would still require a plough after um, root crops and corn, um, whereas just to, to plough for the sake of every now and again, to me, doesn't seem necessary, so that's off. But I've left that certainly challenging. It's um, start from scratch, let's play. Um, I have got, I am playing on PC. Um, right, I've, as you can see, £500,000 start from scratch. I've got seasons on. I've also got precision farming because this Let's Play is based upon showing how seasons and precision farming work together so very well. Um, something that I've, I've not seen anybody else do to date. There may well be other content creators that have actually covered this, but I haven't seen the good ones that I uh, rate um, with this. So I am using easy development tools, but my money is what it is. Um, the only way, if I make a mistake and I've got no money left, is to take a bank loan. I will allow that, but I'm hoping that I don't run into trouble um, to that extent where I do need to, because that's not the idea of where this Let's Play is going. Um, I've got plenty of mods on, too many to list, but we will go through them as we actually uh, go through the Let's Play. Right, another aspect which I think is important is literally vehicle choice. Um, my lineup, my startup lineup, um, which we will go through right now. Let's start. And my first choice is the uh, Fent GT, a very much underestimated tractor. I will be going for two of these. I have got the um, chip tuning on, which is a mod that I've only very recently found. I will not be tuning these. They, they, they are good as they are for what we wish to do. They're not a powerhouse, and nor do I wish them to be. Um, I am using the second-hand um, equipment mod, because I do think it is absolutely invaluable um, in situations like this where a farmer would be starting with such a low amount of capital although 500,000 is a lot it certainly isn't in farming simulator or farming terms and um, you could spend 500 grand on one tractor easily so for someone who's trying to start to buy land equipment 500 grand is a challenge which is of course what a start from scratch is I'm not going to do this torturously I am going to start with a proper in the spirit of start from scratch with 500 grand, they will be using the second hand uh, mod because I think it is what a farmer would do in real life when he was starting from nothing, which is what start from scratch is. Right, so enough waffling, let's get buy in. So it's easy if I come back out and start with the standard. Right, I will be going for a third tractor and this the Sammy Argon is the the beast because it's cabless that was so, causing so much noise that you couldn't hear me speak. So um I am gonna literally tune this because a hundred and fifty horsepower tractor is absolutely ideal for starting from scratch, even though not totally necessary with what we need so it's cost me to, to chip it so I don't complain 210 horsepower chipped with the bigger engine not bad at all yeah use second hand I don't apologize for the use second hand mod I think it say is as I've already explained invaluable but also when you use it 
Let me just show you what I mean. Just look at that. I think that in itself speaks for itself that these look absolutely bad and bruised. I may at some point when I have got the money later on through the Let's Play repaint them because it does look awful but that is the cost of the thing. It literally also take note of the condition and the fuel uh, and if I reset these back to I will also reset the fuel and the condition so I, it's not something that you can cheat and keep resetting to the shop because every single time you do that you will pay for that in repair costs and fuel again so really it is a very balanced mod with very balanced uses so that's my tractor lineup now then let's go for equipment we want obviously this let's play is based upon um, the silage. I could have gone the animal routes uh, that you can start a let's play with animals uh, on start from scratch. But of the two approaches, the silage approach to take seasons at its best. Um, the animal approach, I think personally, is a little bit boring for people to watch, and I do agree with Mr. CLP on that. That it's, I would want to watch a let's play myself, and do like to watch let's plays that I myself could watch and that are not terribly boring and are quite interesting to watch so hopefully this is uh, going to be interesting for anybody watching that's the idea anyway but yes I know I'm wasting a bit of money on colours but I've got to draw a line somewhere on there what you like as well as expediency and cost. Right, so that's mowers. Now my next choice, I do not apologize for, I with this being primarily grass, we do need to streamline this, I could drag you all through me manually loading, but I am going to stick to an auto load for a little bit of smoothness. Um, I'm using the Adjurante and I will be going second hand. Saves me a few thousand while I'm here I'm also going to pick this is one of the strengths of the uh, Fent GT probably a very very underestimated aspect of the Fent GT and I will show you what I mean and that's a bit cryptic at this point but you will see what I mean as we go through the let's play on how versatile this uh, the GT platform actually is uh, we are going to need some crop protection. Again, excellent starting mod for a farmer starting out with very little capital. The uh, op, Lizard Op 2000, 2000 capacity um, herbicide and a reasonable um, 15 metre spread on it. So not, not bad at all. I'm even going to keep this at new at that cost. You just cannot complain for 7,000. Right, fertilizer technology. One of my absolute all-time favourites. It uh, does lime and uh, fertilizer with an extension. A 36 meter spread. It makes it as very versatile as well. Yeah, I know the ones that are with the greatest spread. But it's still very good and does lime as well. So that makes it invaluable. Shall, uh, it's a slightly dearer than the smallest ones you could go for, but that's an absolutely amazing ability, which a lot of people are fully aware of. So, 20 grand, a little bit more pricey than I'd like to play for a standard one, but it's, this is part of my... Uh, when we're focusing on grass, I want the best um, start-up that I can possibly get for the most reasonable price. Um, Bain technology, we can't get far without that. I'm going over this approach um, over the loading wagon for one very special reason, um, which will become, I will mention this further on in the Let's Play, so you know what I mean. I'll explain myself a little bit better. Normally, 
this is my go-to, the uh, Class Roland 455 Uniwrap RC. I uh, absolutely love this mod, fantastic. I've got a very wide pickup, which is its a huge advantage, uh, all in one. Um, I know a lot of people prefer the square balers and this is a round baler, but nevertheless, it is, in my choice, um, cost-wise, how good it is at everything. This is the choice that I'm going to go with because I have been testing this recently and this does have a couple of advantages even though it's slightly dearer to that. Um, I'll, again, I will point out what I mean as we actually go through the Let's Play. So, Balian Technology, Autoloader. Now then, this time I'm going to learn from my mistake of last time. Because we are playing Precision Farming, we need... Well, you'd think this scary scout. This is what I have been using, the class crop sensor, which is uh, absolutely phenomenal, 18 meters spread. But I have recently discovered, with a slightly wider spread, the lizard crop sensor. This has, does have a disadvantage as well, which I may probably well be able to show you. I just love game mechanics. I do apologise for that slight blip. I uh, lost my batteries in my controller, so therefore uh, I just pause the uh, um, recording just for one second. Right, um, I'll go for a different colour, I think, actually. Just to, uh, I think it's going to cost me £100. Oops. Let me just see if that's done what it normally does, and I will show you, yes, that is the weakness of the crop sensor, the lizard. It is very, very unstable. It always has this tendency to fall over. So, I'm going to have to unfortunately use superhuman strength, which appears not to be working at this precise moment. Let's reset it there. Let's do it the other way. Which in this is not the easiest of things to do. Is it still going to be falling down? That is the question. No, finally. Bit of luck. <laughs> right. Let's grab that on the front of this before it falls over again. This is its only weakness, but it's got a better spread than the class at 20 metres. But it is a, it is a bit faffy, but I'm sure the uh, other will correct it at some point. Uh, other than that, it is an excellent mod. Right, now then, you see my starting lineup. I am going to be repairing everything in here, but that would be very torturous for me to drag you through that so I'm going to pause the recording repair everything and then I'm going to bring you guys back in as we uh, once we're back at the other end but that is one other aspect I'm just quickly going to show you what we are buying we've got 330,000 we've got our starting equipment um, and the next stage is buying our little bit of land that we can afford and also because I'm going the silage route we need to buy the BGA. So, I normally go to the Linton area and the biogas plant is 211 grand. It is much bigger, so there's a bit of space with that, but seriously, that will take so much out of my startup capital. I don't really want to be going for a loan that I am actually going to go for something I didn't realise was there, which is the Whitney BGA, which is only 136,000. So, we're committed. Right. Okay, so, I'm now going to quickly... We've got 194,000 left, which is getting fairly seriously low for, for any mods that I wish to bring into the game or things like that. So, without ado, let's go and take you guys over. I have, with this being my second attempt at this particular recording I um, 
I pretty much know what I'm going to do and where I'm going to go. I have only got 194,000. Now then, now I'm actually going to go for something that I wasn't going to go for, which is, I'm going to try to keep this as realistic as possible without darting through edges and such like. Um, now then, where is the field entrance? I cannot for life of no memory. It's actually the other way. It's the other way. Yes, of course it is. Of course it is. And I've dragged us all this way. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb. This is not actually the field I was going to go for, but having gone through this a couple of times, I think I'm going to change my mind. However, this is going to leave me in a seriously bad position. Because I'm going to have very little cash left when I've actually done this. So, but I'm up for the challenge. And if push comes to shove and we really are so terrible then uh, I'm just going to briefly look at the field edge. This. To see the best place. I need one mod on this. So the placement of that mod on this starting space is going to seriously cripple the field. But bearing in mind this is a bigger field. It's a price I'm willing to take. So, without further ado, let us buy our field. Right, now we are seriously getting to the point of no return with 70 grand. And I really do need the way that I play. Um, and I apologise for, I think almost everyone recognises the fact that seasons means you do need some form of other income. I tend to choose solar panels. Um, in the base game I used to buy seven, but it, that's so unbalanced as I found. It also takes uh, part of the challenge away, so I limit myself now to three. But seriously, I'm truly not sure. for myself so right back in the field just explaining some basic uh, concepts and rules and ideas um, so this journey together uh, makes more sense um, right so we bought the field on 70,549 right last couple of mods um, that I need to install this this uh, next mod is perhaps in my opinion one of the uh, most important mods for this particular uh, let's play um, so let's get it placed there are other similar mods and I have got some of them installed as you can see but this is my particular favorite one another mod by Missy B um, excellent mod I've got way too many mods. I apologise for dragging you through all this. Right, slurry yard. Aha. Not bad. Now let's find a decent place to stick this where it's least going to bother and waste the least amount of field where the most edges seems to be. Ah! got an awful massive corner that's not part of the field that might actually work well it's thinner at that end so if we spin it around that way we are going to waste very little of our very precious field so let's not to go into someone else's field even though I know it may uh, Put some of the borders in there, that's that's the game, not me. Right. Let me just briefly switch that on to make sure I'm not uh let's alter the high a little bit and get that to the minimum. Right. Okay, that is 
it's about as good as it's going to get, I think. Ah, perfect. Now, I've already explained about my uh, philosophy on the solar panels, and that little bit of space there looks perfect. Maybe in real life it might cast a little bit of a shadow, although I don't know. If I switch the... Of course, they would have to be facing the right way in real life as well. I'm going to face them towards the sun. Right, now that was, is, is us well and truly committed. That's all of the uh, starter mods that I would like, and we've got 4,774 pounds left, which I seem to have euros rather than pounds. Let me just quickly change that. Let's get this as it should be. Right, okay then. Now I'm going to literally pause this now and do exactly as I said I was going to when I bought the vehicles. I'm going to pause the recording and bring all my vehicles down. Um, and I'm not going to drag you through that. It's it's literally is the other side of the map and my vehicles are not the fastest. And I've got to drag them all over at least twice to grab every, all of the starting equipment over. So I shall uh, see you all back here. Welcome back. All of the, uh, I'm glad you weren't watching, <laughs> a few uh, airy moments. Uh, it's on the equipment for that. Um, everything's been repaired uh, and refueled. Uh, and all mods are installed, except for one. I have literally, I said I was close to the wire with the money, and I uh, certainly am time. I have to wait for a few hours of the solar panels just to placed one of the most important mods that I really do need, but hey ho, that's the challenge of these types of uh, things. I've actually going to take you guys uh, a bit of a tour of this one field. If you note closely the field edge, really, that place on that, I've stolen a little bit of the edge just here with the slurry yard, only a tiny little bit, and again, just there, taking a little bit of the field. Apart from that, it's not a perfect edge, and I've not got the money at the minute. But eventually, I'd like to uh, speed the speed skip the biogas plant. Uh, has not got really any room for any other flavours. Um, truthfully, uh, I would. And last time I did put the container at the biogas plant, but looking at the field edge here, I think um, that's your working field. I think there's room for the container around the edge, and in this far corner where the uh, baler and the uh, light equipment did. If you look very closely here, there is a massive section where I might have a little shed just to put some of the equipment in to uh, protect it from the elements. So, right, let's look at the field space. We are growing. Okay, and I want to show you guys all of the settings so it's going to speed and I want to put this down to a Six day season, we'll leave the clock down the scale at 50 and we've been told to be scale at 20, that's fine. Settings we've already gone through. Uh, right, let's open up this crop sensor and actually do our first tour of the field for precision farming without any sensor data. We haven't got anything, so let's uh, switch this on. Fact. No, 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 let's do this properly. I, I've already said I'm going to use course play, so let's just uh, use course play as it's uh, intended. Absolutely fantastic mod. Um, absolutely one of my favourites, if I'm honest. Uh, especially for bailing the things that you really in game couldn't do any other way. So this is my important so we keep that stack up and slow it in there. 
Okay then. Well. Now, me personally, I love to see the wireframes, but I do realise with the uh, dragging you guys along, we really will not turn on the interest of the slam dunk into the silly heart of the product. No, it didn't. <laughs> no, okay, let's do this properly. So, new field edge. Let's try to do that again. And you can see we've lost just a tiny touch of that corner, which I'm quite happy with. Let's try that again. Hopefully this time without banging into the slurry yard. While we're leaving that to do what it's got to do, we're going to place our last placeable and, then as I've said what I've said, and we have got quite a nice bit of field edge just on the edge here. Let's stick the, my most important mod. Uh, Mr. Silly P, I know he's done a, a, a proper, very scientific um, look at all of these different types of mods. Uh, which is the best. I think this came second, which is quite phenomenal. I'm going to stick everything in this corner, because that's wasted space anyway now, so... Just switch that on for a second. Yeah, that is as close to perfect as possible. Not wasting any of the field. Make sure there's no bumpiness with that. And we've 37, I'm going to run out of room there. Ah. Now then, I have made a mistake with that, which uh, is on the courseway settings. Um, I like to play fairly. Um, so let's rectify that, even if I have to manually take over. Because at this precise moment in time, I really haven't got any money for wages, but I do like to play by the rules and be fair, so let's see. I don't have to take over manually because I'm not going to have money. Oh no, my bad. I was forgetting actually workers' wages will go into minus, so I will get this done. 2.52 minutes, 53 seconds, let's get rid of that, and let's get rid of that. Well, I am using the side tech side panel. Thank you, Mr. CBB, for that heads up. It is an excellent piece of kit. It truly is. Um, as I said, with Corsair, I normally have the wireframes. I absolutely love, especially when you play with the uh, teams of tractors. Uh, when I first started to play the base game, I used to, like everybody, like uh, make the equipment larger, 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 larger. Uh, as I think everybody does to begin with, but it's as I've uh, got more and more into FS19, I realize it's not always about uh, powering up. Sometimes it's about getting a team. You can have a team of two or three little tractors or a team of two or three um, small to medium harvesters that can actually, um, in a lot of ways, actually play better than one large harvester that costs the um, best part of a million and some of the larger ones with headers as well. Um, so yeah, I, I often tend now to use smaller tractors, smaller harvesters, smaller headers. Uh, because I, I do think it's not always about uh, powering up to actually uh, 
what you don't win the game, but you know, to actually do the best. I often find that it's about teamwork, and on the teamwork settings um, with this, you truly do want uh, to see your line because you've often got to. Uh, well, I know on course where you can set up teams, um, but probably one aspect. I'm not an expert to course play. I'm intermediate I should say not not begin and I use almost all of the features but that's where it, it, it loses me a little bit so I tend to set my teams up manually and I'll run one of my tractors ahead a little bit to see that you need the wireframe and to see the points where you're going to start your next tractor and I make my best guess at trying to split a field between the two if it's two, three, two uh, tractors in the team or to split it between three equally so that um, each one has got a fair part of the field to speed it up to three times quicker than one single tractor. So, yeah, it, it's, uh, it's a, an absolutely valuable mod. It's not going to take much longer now. I would say, you know, the wireframe is in the last two or three passes. So, oh, yeah, minus 21. Right. Not a most auspicious starts to be the minus the red already. But it is what it is, so I need to do this once for a quite a long time. Absolutely do love this crop sensor. I say the only thing that is funny about the lizard is its uh, instability. It, it always wants to fall down. And sometimes even when you manage to put it down properly you come back after uh, I'm reloading the game and it's fallen on the floor again for no reason. So I think uh, a gust of wind must uh, must knock it over at, uh, at night or something. Uh, okay, so then, let's put that top sensor somewhere safe. Stick it to the back of these slurry yards. not going to hurt uh, there. It's a bit of a funny time without any shed. There was no money to put any sheds in. So, let's put that the back against the wall. So hopefully, if, if the gust of wind blows it the right way, it will actually... Uh, into the uh, slurry yard or that against the back wall. Right, okay then, so we've done all that we can do there and unfortunately right to this very moment in time I can't afford the fertilizer. Right, um, let us go and fetch the the Fen GTs. At least get all of the equipment set up. Um, now there is a bit of a method to, uh, I'd imagine when you saw me setting up my equipment, um, you wondered why I'd got one yellow Fent GT and one green Fent GT. There is a method to my madness, uh, truthfully. Uh, a bit of a, um, a colour coding system so that I know which one does which. So, um, I use this one for liming, and I, I stick that in my mind by saying lime green. So that's green, which means this one is the one that will handle my fertilizer. And as I said, it, I said it would become apparent why I said the the uh, Fent GT platform was invaluable. Um, that will become uh, a very apparent quite shortly. So let's uh, stop the room now. And the front bar. You, I did use to leave the front bar on but it causes a bit of a, an issue because uh, if you use it um, with the AI because you've got the implement on especially with course play it actually switches the uh, switches that actually on in this instance of heart pain and causes damage or is annoying because it's got the mowing noise on or, or that type of thing so oh, right, okay interesting it does do some interesting things with the FGP platform when you connect the implements or when you fill these. Um, I, I, on my first recording I did actually show this but, and you will see it again. It always never fails to make me laugh at the physics of the day. Provider, so 12 
Bath will get a few. And this is what I was saying about these solar panels or at this uh, such an early state of the uh, game, you really do need something, a little bit of a something um, to give you some income. Because as a starting farmer, you will literally, you've got nothing and you've got to rely truthfully on something else just to give you a bit of income. And this is what I find uh, about the solar panels, as I said, and I think the amount is quite balanced. It doesn't you could put seven or ten and it literally you could earn you an income that you don't really need to farm and that that for me is defeating the actual entire purpose of farming simulator. Um, obviously the placeables have been put there because uh, obviously modders and gameplays all of us recognise the fact that you do really need um, other forms of um, income definitely yeah, I was right away when you said it, so you've got positive in there. Just the comment. It's on 12 o'clock. And it's just about now with the line on that. This is this is what you'll see what I mean. That is front heavy. What are they? That is just typical as you record in. It doesn't it behave itself. Throughout this episode you will see exactly what I mean. It is quite unbelievable that sometimes with the uh, when the front's got weight in it and you put it in the um, or when the back's got weight on it and the front's empty uh, then basically it tips up the wrong way and it is I always find it hilarious but the, you will see it, it will do it it's just the yeah, even because you guys don't watch it uh, so I did want to play this um, legitimately where there is no tab in, but I have a mod installed at the minute and I cannot for the life of me work out and it is only on this map. I've got extended tab in which I cannot get to work, whether it's my key configuration or I mean, I've watched the videos, watched uh, uh, Farmer Cop uh, go through an excellent um, description on how to use it. I use the same key configs and my key configs are the same, set up in you look at the control options, but when playing with external tablet, I cannot for the life of me go to work. So I've got it switched off on this. Uh, I also tried a couple of course play mod, um, uh, and also another mod about switching off tabbing, um, but it's not on. So I do not know whether it's just got to be on for it to for it to work. That I cannot tab presently, even though I didn't. I would cut that out. I don't want to be tabbing. It is enforcing the fact that this precise moment I couldn't have even for one to do so. And let's get that over to the field for a bit of fertilizer in the year. Lina has finished his business or her business. I'm sure who's the worker is. I seem to get more lady drivers than gentlemen. Which been sexist, but I do believe it seems to have gone that there are more lady drivers now than there are men drivers. So, it's been overcompensation, not inequality. No, 
out of the life. Keep it with your mouth. I love vegan bizarre, well, yeah. The colours especially all for me is absolutely beautiful. Took this out of the way and the edge and put it in the way of the other. decision farming where uh, with seasons uh, as we all know in the base game you would uh, have two fertilizer states and in seasons it's three um, with precision farming it literally does the one state so it does save an awful lot of time which I've heard various content creators over the years complain about I uh, think years ago in, uh, I'm a late comer to work uh, Farming Simulator, I literally started with the FS19 almost from the beginning. Um, I heard lots of content creators talk about um, where you could switch fertilizer states off on, or have just one, or choose two, or, or that type of thing on some of the uh, earlier um, iterations of Farming Simulator, whereas now obviously we really do have um, three of the standards. the back off. It is completely empty so I don't need to worry about getting rid of any uh, excess. Oh, just a little bit of that. Manually just do something about that. Right. Let's drop that off. And part that up. And let's go and get the other one fertilize this at least we will get maximum yield out of this um, as well I don't regret my choice to uh, go rogue and go with my instincts on this field although it really is to the bone on a mountain because I've gone for a, a bigger starting field but the field I was going to choose which was going to be field one uh, so on my first recording uh, session the slurry yard caused quite a bit of problems and also it is a downhill and this is flat and of course I'm using a round baler so uh, we all know round bales roll this field is in my opinion quite a good and flat field so truthfully it should be much better there we go, a little skip I don't think we are going to manage for one minute. Fill this with fertilizer without going to minus. Okay, on my mom. And that's the other thing of precision farming, it is precise, does not waste your spread at all, only uses what you need, um, and if you run over the field where you've already run it, the, um, the AI of precision farming literally will not waste, oh, I don't know, it will not waste any fertilizer if you run over the same spot again with this, the computer, the onboard computer obviously, allowed for the uh, that you've already done that and it doesn't waste money which is absolutely phenomenal talk about minimal waste of fertilizer um, absolutely amazing I just like the jam 
remember the little um, alarm that I'm about at the end of my recording session. I'm just going to manually finish this field. I'm going to leave it for this, but I'm going to do my editing. And for this being my uh, first let's play, this is going to be the, the challenge of learning the new tools, the editing tools uh, on the PC for the movies. I bought the software uh, quite a while ago. Um, the re recording software and um, I actually took Chris Gar's advice and I don't regret that he, he was totally correct I did have another piece of software but it was so heavy on res the resources of the PC that it actually caused farming simulator to crash so I spent a little bit of money on the D3D software but Chris uh, Gar advice and he is correct it's absolutely amazing it's a, a good price a good piece of kit uh, I've watched the movies back a couple of times on the first attempt at recording this and really is uh, absolutely amazing um, and not terribly resource hungry either so yeah definitely would along with Frick I recommend the, the D3D software is it amazing right. Oops. Oh, there go. Ooh, wow 96 you couldn't get much closer than that get rid of the 96 on this bit if it'll let me. As I say, precision farming is precise. It won't waste that unless there's a bit to be done. So, let's see if we can get our position around. That'll do me. 87 left after that. Amazing. No, don't let me do that. Right, okay then. So, not bad. No more neat, fully fertilised, and let's have a quick look at that on precision farming, just to show you guys what I meant. Single pass on both, and there we go. pH perfect, as perfect as you can be with it. I'm sure that must have missed a little tiny bit. Nitrogen perfect as well within the field state so absolutely amazing all ready to rock and roll once it's grown so ah the one thing i have have not done I have, i've mentioned i've got easy development tools on so briefly just before i scoot off i am going to uh, just show you guys all the settings that i am as i said i'm not going to cheat on this i'm really not but i am going to switch that up to 3000 time scale just for now because I haven't got even a hundred pounds to put a doormat in at the uh, BGA or even if I chose to put it here um, I haven't even got that so not until another hour has passed so this is where I'm going to leave it for now um, I shall restart the same position and we'll take it from there speed up time so I don't want to I do want this to be exactly what it says on the tin it is going to be um, start from scratch and um, I'm going to show you everything especially with this being all about precision farming and seasons working hand in hand and also in my opinion probably the best way to treat seasons in the very first year is is the grass root it truly is because even with one field I will get uh, multiple cuts out of this in the one year so multiple uh, earnings on the first year which is exactly what you need to grow with seasons which unless you started um, with a million and a half or something like that to be able to buy lots of fields with seasons to go the traditional route with a combine and, and more traditional crops um, that is is the weakness of seasons even though true to life is the fact that starting from scratch um, is very difficult with seasons on so I'm just wanting to show that uh, that's not necessarily the case, that uh, I think in the first year most of us need to become uh, silage barons. And then from that point, to be honest, I, I, through this let's play, I'm going to show you just how, um, obviously, I know people are going to argue, I know this, and that, this in advance, the slurry yard, as I said, is one of my favourite mods, but you do not have to go this way. It is very much like Mr. Silly P, um, one of my favourite content creators, um, does say, whether it's built into the map or not, like uh, Alien Jim's uh, fantastic maps where 
there are lots of sell points that sell uh, unusual um, things like propane on Spectacle Island um, and lots of uh, fuel on and many others of uh, Alien Jim's maps. You don't have to go that route. I must admit, me personally, uh, I tend to stick to the farming on uh, Alien Jim's maps mainly. I think I've done a couple of fuel runs in the entire times uh, I've played on the uh, uh, Washow, um, one of my favourite maps of Alien Jim's, one that's not, not terribly, I know uh, Mr. CDP did a, a Let's Play on that, uh, which intrigued me enough to actually do a Let's Play myself, um, but you don't have to use these mods, uh, you can use, there are lots of different mods that do the same as a slurry yard, although I particularly love the slurry yard because it does recognise the fact that Digestate is basically slurry. Um, or watered down slurry with exactly the same thing and if you can sell one kind of fertilizer then the base game doesn't recognize or as far as I'm aware of doesn't recognize that digestate is that fertilizer apart from the fact you can use it you can't resell it whereas this the slurry yard does in fact to be honest um, usually when I do my uh, tankers to pick up the digestate from the VGA I usually uh, colour them um, brownie gold uh, because uh, just as a, uh, a nod to Missy B on the fact that this is liquid gold. I mean, you do uh, very tongue in cheek, but you do truly get uh, absolutely amazing value from Digestate through this. But equally saying, uh, if I didn't play with this, if I played with uh, the slurry dealer, um, or if I didn't, I just used Digestate um, just for uh, fertilizer spread in and I couldn't sell it you still can um, make enough money just from the grass itself not on the, the slurry yard to be truthful is the main the biggest uh, cash earner and obviously my favorite um, mod on this this particular setup so without it even I recognize you probably would be on a third of the money and so you would not see the expansion uh, if you didn't have the slurry, the uh, slurry yard enabled, it really does give you the most expansion. But I just want to show you what you can do. And also, as I say, it can be toned down. The choice of mods is always up to uh, each individual. But I just want to show with this particular mod uh, and with this particular, well, this setup that I've got. And you go in this route that precision farming and seasons really are an amazing combination. And they're just how we're... Uh, just on the first year alone, how uh, without any kind of cheating, without any kind of um, bringing money in, that's why I want you guys to see almost everything that I do uh, is literally all so that you can see just how well you can do just within a single year of seasons uh, in harmony with precision farming. It speeds things up, makes things better, and also the income with these few mods is phenomenal. Right, so I'm going to leave it at that point. I've waffled on enough. And I shall catch you guys about the same place next time. And we'll speed time up. And we shall uh, hopefully cut some grass. So, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully see you again.